The Standing Rock Nation received funding for an intertribal electric vehicle charging network. Maya Fleck went down to see what the $12.5 million electric vehicle infrastructure plan looks like. This is the first EV charging station at Sitting Bull College. A Department of Energy grant in collaboration with the Native Sun Community Power Development and the American Lung Association received funding for the EV infrastructure. The money was used to get these five Ford F-150 Lightnings and Ford E Transit passenger van on the road. It will also be used to build up charger infrastructure in towns like McLaughlin and Mobridge. These vehicles were awarded to Sage Development Authority, Sitting Bull College, Standing Rock Public Transit, and some tribal casinos for transportation. These entities will be tracking the use of their EVs and collecting data for the Upper Midwest Intertribal EV Charging Community Network. Really, it's a research project. You know, it's finding out how it works in rural America, not just for tribes, but in rural America. How's this thing going to flesh out? The charging stations are still in the planning process. The goal is to create a network from Minnesota to North Dakota to reach out to other tribal nations. With the cold climate, he says it's something people will have to keep in mind when it comes to the range of the vehicles. I think it's part of life, you know, if, if you get a diesel truck, you have to worry about it gelling up, right? And anything you're going to have to precondition. So with electric vehicles, the same thing. You have to condition it in the cold weather. The van for the transit system needs a few more finishing touches before it will go into the community. Well, we already run vans in the community. You know, we have about three of them. They're smaller, but this is a full-size electric vehicle, a full-size transit van. You know, so folks who are handicapped are going to have a better time getting in and out of it. It took a year and a half to get these vehicles into the region. In Fort Yates, I'm Maya Flack reporting for your News Leader. The findings from this project will be used by other communities looking to replicate the work.